Exactly, but don't forget, there's good bacteria and bad bacteria. You know, for many eczema patients, life is really kind of an endless go-around, merry-go-round of itching, scratching, and harsh medications. And still, the ugly skin rashes keep coming back. Here's a skin version of taking probiotics for intestinal health. Cassandra Rodriguez has struggled with eczema all her life, and she's tried just about every treatment on the market. The worst symptom would be the itching and the scratching, and you can't get it. Eczema, also called atopic dermatitis, looks like an allergic reaction, but it's actually a combination of genetic predisposition, abnormal immune system function, and environmental triggers. In addition to the terrible itching and unsightly appearance, the broken skin is easily infected. Now Dr. Donald Dung and his team at National Jewish Health are taking a new approach to treating eczema, using bacteria to restore healthy skin. Skin normally contains over a thousand species of bacteria. Some species damage the skin and make eczema worse. Others actually help skin. The bacteria is educating the skin to actually mature and create a better barrier. Good bacteria are deficient in people with atopic dermatitis. Researchers apply this good bacteria to patient skin in a lotion, then examine samples in the lab to see if it restores a healthy bacterial balance, preventing harmful infections and reducing the need for harsh short-term treatments. We're hoping that this bacteria cream will become a natural part of the skin. Cassandra is hoping this research leads to a treatment that will provide a long-term solution for her. And while results of the clinical trial aren't known yet, she says she's noticed a difference. It didn't itch and it didn't burn as bad. It was kind of nice to see something starting to help. Now, while we wait for results from this trial, it's important to avoid eczema triggers. Those include skin irritants like soaps and cleansers, perfume, makeup, cigarette smoke, and even stress. And even though eczema is not an allergic reaction, people with it are more, more likely to also have asthma, food, and seasonal allergies. And by the way, the NIH is running a separate clinical trial also, looking at ways of replacing mm -hmm. the bacteria on the skin and making sure that, that hopefully that will overgrow the bad bacteria yeah. and take away some of that itch. It's a nuisance. It, yeah, really, it really is. It really is. And a lot of adults have it. Yeah, so it's, it's not just kids. Okay. Thanks, Dr. Max. Back to you, Beth.